Okay, so what I'm going to talk about today is <clears throat> what is Gib in Bridge? So last night I was commentating and watching the um, Richard Pavlicek game. So if you haven't watched that, it starts at two o'clock in the morning, GMT time or UTC time. Um, so obviously he's American, so that's probably <clears throat> nine o'clock at night, something like that, I guess. I have no idea what that is, Pacific time or Central or Eastern or whatever. But basically, it's two o'clock in the morning, so it's um, two uh, two in the morning, GMT time, Greenwich Mean Time. Um, so one of the commentators, uh, another, this is because there's usually about six or seven people commentating on the match, and um, and I start to get to know them because it's the same kind of people who are doing it, but it's a bit of a laugh. But one of them said, um, you know, you shouldn't use Gib when you're commentating. And, um, you know, you should get out of the habit of just going straight to Gib. And a couple of people said, oh, what's Gib? What, what, what are you talking about? OK, so uh, obviously not everyone knows what it is. So Gib meaning. So it stands for Ginsburg's Intelligent Bridge Player. And I'm guessing it's named after someone called Ginsburg. Uh, I can't remember who it is exactly, but I probably should look that up. Um, now, if you click on this link, it takes you to this PDF, which I'll leave a link in the description of, or you can just easily Google it yourself. And this basically is um, how the GIB, how, how, how the robots work on BridgeBase. So it's worthwhile reading this, and I probably should have read it several times because it, what it does is it gives you insights onto how the robots lead. So they make sort of standard leads and stuff like that. So it should really help you play when you're playing against robots on how they operate. So I'm not going to go through all of this document, but um, it's basically nine pages explains. Um, so you've got the system, no explanations. So it's based on a two over one kind of system. And for some reason, they changed the font halfway through. <laughs> um, but it does actually say somewhere that if, if the robots do something really crazy, you can email them, I think, and sort of say, it did this. Why did it do that? It was just a nutty play. Because I'm sure if you've watched some of my videos so far against other people, lots of people will say that the robots make some daft plays. OK, so um, it is, after all, uh, programmed um, so it's based on whatever the computer puts in you know if you put garbage programming in you're going to get garbage out so certain times the robots will do stupid things i think uh, but it's probably based on whatever the, com the, the human being who's 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 programmed it has, has put in so garbage in garbage out so it's got how Gib defends, and so it sort of says like leading off aces and kings and stuff like that, and it makes passive leads in no trumps and stuff like that. Bidding, you know, general approach of how, how the robots bid and so forth. So you can have a look at that, and I'll leave a, a link in the description if you want to go through that, and that will help you out when you're playing against robots. They, they basically say that it works out, the robots tend to play at about 55% level, so um what's that is that like an eight or something like that on so on the ngs scale i think that's about an eight or maybe nine i'm not sure what it is actually um so that's that but the the main people when they say uh using give they're not really referring to this kind of stuff so if we look at a hand so let's have a look at one that i messed up is it this one yeah, probably this one, or maybe not. So if we go click on this button here, it says show double dummy. So this is what Gib is, so I did mess it up. <laughs> yeah, so I should have made the contract and I went uh, one off. So what it's saying is on any lead, you're going to make at least equals. And if they lead a diamond, you're going to make an extra trick. So this is what Gib is. You can also export it. So if I click on the export, export button and go to hand viewer, Okay, so when people are referring to Gib, this is kind of what they're referring to. They're saying 
uh, you know, whether the contract can be made or not. The, the robot works out. So here we go. Press the give button now. So what people are saying is, you know, you're going to give. OK, so this is what, what they mean when they're saying they're going to give you pressing the give button and you're working out. Aha, four spades, it can be made. OK, so what did they play? So they played the eight of hearts. I won with the ace and then you can go to give again. And it sort of says like what cards you should be playing. So clearly I played a heart next. So by analyzing this, I can sort of see where I've gone wrong. I'm guessing at some point I should have either played this club maybe. So here, so a low club here makes a contract. If I, if I know that the queen, king of clubs is over here, I need, and I know that the clubs are breaking 3-3, three, three. I want to get rid of my diamond, okay? So I should play a club to the queen, okay? But uh, I didn't do that. What did I do? I took a diamond finesse, I think. So you can see that playing a diamond takes it one. So now, when I press skip now, it should say, oh, wands, red wands, or white wands in red boxes. I always call them red wands, okay? Okay, so there we go. So any of these that Gib plays, I'm now going to go one off. So before when the Gib start, when we started off the hand, I should be able to make the contract and possibly make an over trick. Now it's saying I'm going one off. And if we play the queen or jack of spades, I'll make the contract. So that is what Gib is. And it's a good little tool to look at, to go over your hands. And everybody should do this. If you're not sure why you should make a contract or not make a contract. What I would say, though, about Gib is certain times it'll say a contract is making, but that's only because, let's say, you're you're cashing an ace and dropping a singleton king. You know, something that is pretty much going against the odds. So Gib will obviously work out by seeing all the cards uh, the best way to play, the, play it. But clearly, when you're at the table, you're not going to drop a singleton king offside necessarily. Um, it's kind of, it can be anti-percentage sometimes, obviously, to do that kind, uh, kind of thing. So don't read too much into Gib, but use it as a useful tool. It will help you out, you know, especially if you're um, not the strongest declarer or, you know, it'll help you out in defence. It'll help you out in declarer play and defence. No doubt about it. So analyze all your hands and use Gib. Use this tool to do it. That, that will help you. Okay. Uh, by looking at the this kind of, if, by looking at Gib and, and looking at several hands, you'll probably start seeing patterns where maybe you should be playing a secondary suit before you draw trumps and things like that. And it'll, 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 it might help you uh, in picking up that skill in playing out the cards in a certain way, or you might, you know, it's one way of picking it up, I guess. Okay, but another aside is that it's just interesting to see that, you know, quickly you can sort of see if a contract can make or not. Um, and that's what people use it for a lot of the time. And that's what this guy was on about last night when we were commentating. He was kind of saying that, because a few people were sort of saying, oh, six heart makes here. And the cards had only been, seen for one second. So I think what he was referring to there was somebody was hitting the give button straight away and um, and just sort of saying, oh, this contract can make. Oh, actually, actually, they can't have been doing that, can they? Because they haven't seen the bidding. No, probably not. <laughs> um, but yeah, when they reach the final contract, a lot of people just say, oh, this contract makes. And they, they're basically going straight to give rather than analyzing it themselves because sometimes you can analyze it and sort of see that the way that it's most likely going to get played is that the contract will probably go off whereas if they go straight to gib they'll just see that the contract makes and just say oh this contract should make okay but sometimes defenders can do something clever like discard something high or whatever uh, unblock or, or do some make, make some clever play so anyway, I'm rambling now. That is Gib. That is Gib. I was going to say in a nutshell, but it wasn't a nutshell. So I'll leave a link to here. I'll just grab that. And I'll put that in the description. If you haven't used Gib before, then you should do. It's worthwhile using, but don't overuse it.